WooCommerce has a nice local pickup shipping option, but there is a small thing which always annoys me. And that is that if I pick the local pickup, I still have to fill all those fields. What I mean by that, if I choose a local pickup, then there is no need for town and county and postcode and whatever fields they are. I think there are only a couple of fields which needs to be filled when local pickup is chosen. For example, take a look at this. If I choose local pickup, only name, phone and email, nothing else. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to accomplish that on your site. Let's start with the basics. Let's go to the WooCommerce and shipping settings. As you see, currently I have only two countries I allow shipping. It's the United Kingdom and United States. And this zone has only courier and free shipping option. I'm going to add the local pickup option also. Let's open up the zone, add shipping method and choose local pickup. Add shipping method here. Now go to the checkout page. And as you see, nothing happens if local pickup is chosen. That's because we need to add a small code snippet to the function's PHP file or better yet in the code snippets plugin. The code I'm going to show you can be found in the description of this video. But in order to add this code, I'm going to install a plugin called code snippets. Therefore, go to plugins, add new and search for code snippets. Install and activate it. And after that, you'll see snippets menu on the left. Click on add new. And now paste the code in, inside this box here. Give it a title, for example, hide shipping fields for local pickup. If it's done, choose only run on site front end and save changes and activate. Let's go to the checkout page again, refresh it and see whether it worked. As you see, nothing happened and it's because we have to tell the code what is the actual value of this local pickup option here. What I mean by that is take a look at this here. It says that shipping method pickup is local pickup 2. Let's see what number this one here has. In order to do that, right click on the local pickup, choose inspect. And now take a look at this value here, local pickup 4. As you see, there is value written here and it's local pickup 4. I'm going to change the 2. Here I add 4. If this one here is changed, you have to go here and scroll to the bottom and also change this one here. Now let's save it. Refresh the page. And as you see, most of the fields are hidden. But there is still, still one field state. How can I hide this one also? You have to go to this row here and you can add or remove the fields you want to hide or show. Currently I'm hiding the company, country, postcode, address 1, 2 and city fields. If I want to hide the state field, I'm going to add billing state here. Save changes, refresh, and there you go. If I choose courier, then as you see, all fields are, are there. If I choose local pickup, only the ones I want to show are there. If you want to hide some field for other shipping methods, you can basically use the same method. Just copy the code, add the name of the shipping method here. For example, let's inspect the courier. It is flat rate one. Let's copy and paste it here. Scroll down and paste it here. Save changes, refresh. Now all fields are visible for local pickup, but if I choose a courier, only those fields are visible. 
So, as you saw, it wasn't so difficult to accomplish. Just a couple of minutes, copy and pasting. Now the question of the day. Please let me know in the comments what kind of tutorials you would like to see in the future. Otherwise, if you find this video useful, then press thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and you will be the first to be notified about the new tutorials. Meanwhile, take care.